Hi there, I'm Tristan Todd, Cloud Automation Specialist with Tentry. The cloud has had a profound effect on IT landscape. Enterprises are building private clouds to rival public cloud experience for greater economics and business agility for end consumers. Tentry's plugin for VMware vRealize Orchestrator automates VMware level VM store operations through powerful workflows. The workflows can be used directly from vRealize Orchestrator, or you can plug them into your favorite cloud automation platform through our REST API. You can use vRealize Automation, for example, to offer storage automation to cloud consumers. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the plugin and show you how to get started with automating your private cloud. The Tentry plugin for VMware vRealize Orchestrator is available on the support.tentry.com website in the download section. On the download site, you'll see plenty of plugins and orchestration toolkits. Scroll towards the bottom and you'll see the orchestrator plugin. And you want to download the plugin itself, which is a VMO app um, extension. And you want to download the corresponding documentation. We have an install guide, which is essential and uh, is what I'm covering in this video. You'll also see a user guide and an API usage guide as well. Feel free to follow along in the install guide as we go through this video. Uh, the install guide is a great step-by-step. -step. I put all the documentation in the plugin itself in a single folder. Once I have that, I'm ready to go ahead and deploy the plugin in vRealize Orchestrator. I like to use the Google Chrome browser when I'm doing orchestrator work. I'm going to open a second browser tab, put in the FQDN or IP address for my orchestrator appliance. At the bottom of the screen, hit the Control Center link. On the control center, I've got lots of uh, different features and functions. At the very bottom, I have a plugins link. Click Manage Plugins. At the very top, I see uh, Install Plugin. Go ahead and click the Browse button. Then I go to that folder where I downloaded the VMO app plugin for Tentry. Click Install. Read the EULA. Go ahead and accept that. Click Install again. This is a step that many people miss. Go ahead and restart your VRO appliance um, as the prompts indicate. And once the current status shows undefined, stopped, and then running, you're good to go. Again, in your browser, put the FQDN of your VRO appliance in. Scroll to the bottom and hit the vRealize Orchestrator client link. Now, the client is also known as the VRO Workflow Designer. It's a little Java app that you'll pull down, put in your credentials, uh, and log into your VRO appliance. Once you're in your VRO appliance, then you'll want to verify that your Tentry plugin is deployed. You can be in run or design mode here. You'll want to scroll over to the workflows tab. So you'll see the blue icon at the top, mouse over, you'll see workflows, open library, scroll down to Tentry, and you'll see configuration and virtual machine uh, subfolders. The workflows that ship with the plugin are a great way to get started. The real power in our uh, orchestrator plugin it actually comes in the actions so in designer run mode go up to the uh, little gear with the arrow button and you'll see a Tentry folder near the top that includes our actions and this is where we're calling uh, on our API's on our various components to execute very powerful um, orchestration capabilities you see an example of this right here in the replication action So we'll go back to either design or run mode, go into the workflows library, scroll down to Tentry, go into configuration and select add VM store. Go ahead and right click, click start workflow, put in your FQDN or IP address for your first VM store, put in your admin uh, username or credentials, often this is admin. Once you click Submit, it will take just a few seconds for the workflow to run, adding a VM store to Orchestrator. And you'll see a green check mark that's a positive indication that your VM store is added. Now, I like to double check to make sure all my VM stores are added. So I use the Remove VM Store workflow. Go ahead and run that real quick. I can actually complete this workflow. I just want to go ahead and uh, see uh, here positively the list of VM stores that I have in my environment. You can see I have them listed here. I'm not going to actually remove anything. I'm going to click cancel and we're good to go. All right, we now have the Tentry vRealize Orchestrator plugin deployed in our environment. That was fast and easy, wasn't it? In the next video in this series, we'll start configuring some automated private cloud services that will help us deliver faster, more consistent private cloud service offering. Thanks for watching.